guys for tuning in to Nizzy's Playhouse. I got some news for y'all today. So, this hat right here came already colored, sis. It came already pre dyed. Like, that's some tea for y'all right there. Um, but so, I made this into a wig, and I only used two bundles, only two, because the hair is so thick. You only need to. Um, I did. They are kind of spaced out a little bit more, but the, like it don't look like it. It don't look like it, sis. So wet. <laughs> but if you are doing so already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Let me know you rocking with your girl in this YouTube journey. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this hair first, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I got this hair and what the hair looked like, you know, first. Oh, some specs um, on the hair. This is Pretty Strands Virgin Hair. Um, so I have reviewed their hair multiple times, and I absolutely love every every single time I have their hair. Like it is like amazing. So I'll leave the videos, the link up above on where you can check that out. Um, I've tried their 613 and then their Brazilian. I think I had a 28 inch wig. They had wigs too. Let me know if you guys want to see me do a update on this hair um, because I absolutely love it. Like oh my god. Like can you guys see that color? Um, and on camera it's kind of showing off red but it's more of like a berry color if you will. It's like and that's what it was called, um, berry. Um, so, a little bit about this hair. This is the, um, this is Brazilian tight curl, I believe. This is the closure, you guys, and it stops right there. So, a 10 inch closure. Then I have um, 16 and 18 inch bundles. Um, so, it does, it is pretty long. You know, I do have a curl, but it reaches like past nipple, past nip nip. But like overall, like the hair was super soft when I pulled it out. It doesn't look like it was bleached in color. Like it feels like super soft. Um, the color didn't transfer on my hands or anything while I was making the wig, and it didn't. It didn't have a like a corn chippy smell. Um, so overall, I am super satisfied with this hair, and I think they're having a sale or something. So check that out. I'll leave the link down below on where you can get um, the hair at. But yeah, let me go ahead and get into this um, tutorial. It's gonna be more of a talk through, walk through, you know what I'm saying? Um, but let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns down in the comments box. And as always, thanks for watching. First things first, sis, we got the wig put on and everything. So I did go ahead and brush everything out. I brushed all the curls out. Um, I brushed all the curls out here on one side and then on as you can see on the other side that is the natural you know when I had put water on it that's what it looks like curled um so I thought hey what would you know what would curly hair look like wand curled and like I absolutely love the aftermath of this like what I'm doing this all the time now <laughs> but anyways so once you have everything all combed out, um, I went ahead and sectioned everything off into four sections. I found it easier to work it like that um, because this hair is like big and in the way. Um, I do recommend using duck clips instead of rubber bands, but that's all I had at the moment and I ain't feel like going to the, to the beauty supply, so fuck it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Side of those sections, uh, make sure that you're combing the hair out with um, before you go ahead and wind curl it. And the brush that I'm using is steel denim brush. Um, y'all know this is my brush if you've been following me. Um, like, ooh, child, like, y'all know this is my, my brush, my go-to brush. I'm using this uh, wand curler that I got from Sally's. It was $20, and it's by the, the brand Plugged In. And this, I've had this for like five years, and it gets super hot, and like, I like the, um, the size of it. I'm not sure the barrel size, but it was like $20, and I love it. Ooh, wee sis, do you see that? Like, this hair curls so well and even after it curled it's still super soft like oh my god and the curls held too like I don't even know what to say held without hairspray let me say that um, but yes I absolutely love it so I want to go I went ahead and finish the rest of the hair off um, so I'll let you guys watch that and then we'll be and then I'll be right back to talk some more shit in your ear girl So I have all the sections finished of the hair. So now what I did is I went ahead and used this um, this renewing argan oil. 
Um, I got this from Walmart. It's like five dollars, and this is what I always use on my weaves because it's um, it's light oil. It's not heavy, um, and it does give a bit of a shine on, which I do like. Um, Cause you don't want your bundles to be looking all dry, sis. You don't. Um, but anyways, I put a little bit on my hand, and then what I do is I, I separate the curls. And I've seen this done on natural hair, so I thought, why not use it? Why not do that on these? Um, because I don't want to. Um, because it eliminates frizz. Nobody wants frizzy hair, you know, uh, frizzy curls. So when you when you put the oil on it and you separate them, it, it combats that frizz. This hair, this wig, this hair, this color, like I'm a fan. Like. you guys check them out let me know what you guys think about this hair um, I did go ahead and style it in two little pigtails let me know if you guys like this um, this style um, I think it's super cute let me know what you guys think and as always thank you for watching I wish I was